Bob, when you look at the heavyweight division right now, Tyson Fury, the undisputed lineal champ, picking himself up off the deck in boxing and in life to get back to where he is. Deontay Wilder, an all-time puncher, also undefeated with a belt. Anthony Joshua, undefeated with belts. All of them excellent, authentic personalities. You want to see that Fury and Wilder again? I want to see that. King Kong Ortiz? I want to see You want to see that again? I want to see that. Joshua. You don't want to see that? Wow. As I said, I'm willing to fight Dante Wilder April 13th in London. So I don't know what more I have to do to get that message across. He's more interested in fighting Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury holds no world title. I'm very keen to make that fight, but no fantasy contracts, just reality. Joshua's fight with uh, Miller, that that now is in serious doubt after this year around Miller's dope test. We looked at the best heavyweights in the world, Luis Ortiz, Trevor Bryant, Pulev, Andy Ruiz, all these guys. I had to go with the guy that in my heart I believe would give the fans the best entertainment. Oh, whoop him. You know, I, I thought he's a cool guy, do you know what I mean? I said, I got in there and I just beat him up slowly, but if he talks reckless, I will bat him. Jack Dempsey, Joe Lewis, Joe Frazier, Vladimir Klitschko, so many in the force. Muhammad Ali, what a stage, what a setting for AJ's US launch pad as he defends the WBA Super IBF and WBO titles against the proud Andy Ruiz Jr. The, the danger that Joshua can possess, and I think he's getting confident in the fact that he can stand in front of Joshua a couple of times. Oh, oh, big shot. Beautiful punch from Anthony Joshua. And Andy Ruiz Jr. is down in the third round, and he's down for the first time in his life. And there's the power and the precision of Joshua. Just when Ruiz looked like he was making some sort of an impact. Joshua, I'd, I'd go to an island and I'd move there and I'd never box again. I would have felt embarrassed, you know, he quit. The guy gave up in the ring. Yeah. He got dropped four times and gave up. From round one, I could see what was going to happen. I looked at Joshua, he didn't have no water on him, no sweat walking into the ring. I thought this guy's going to get knocked out. He's just built all wrong. Yep. You know, he's got too much muscle mass. Right. He's too worried about battle roping and lifting weights right. and, and, you know, looking like a model on Instagram. This guy did not look like he wanted to be there tonight in Madison Square Garden. He had no urgency. Uh, he, he just didn't look interested. And he, he behaved that way. We had Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury come on national television on our show and called them out, said he was running, they've been waiting for him, they tried to make fights with him, he didn't want it. And then we see something like this and we say, damn, that's why he was running. I'm a bit sad that Andrew is the one that beat him instead of me, but yeah, it is what it is. If you lose like that and you're supposed to be the man, you should get criticism. Anthony Joshua lied to us. Let's just call it what it is. He wasn't ready for this fight. I know I can get him back. And I laugh at everyone who says I should retire and all that stuff. You know, nine times out of ten I should beat him. And that was just his night. Yeah. You got you got the win and you get to do it again at the end of the year. I want to tell you this. Uh, I'm a soldier. And I have to take my ups and my downs. And on Saturday, I took a loss. And I have to take it back in. And that's why one of my sayings is, never let success get to your head and never let your failures get to your heart. 
It's all about keeping up balance. What does it mean he, now? What does it mean for, for rematch? Josh? But if he then loses a rematch, that's over then. There's times that I face defeat as an amateur in my third fight, and imagine I would have stopped then. There'll be no now. So I feel like stopping isn't in my DNA. I take in L's. I know how to fight. And I know I beat most of these top heavyweights. Still focused. Um, minor setback. I took a loss tonight. I take it on the chin like a real man. No, no uh, crying, no emotions. Still the same objective to try and improve as a fight. I realised more, I didn't realise there was so much support. People like emotional about the loss. So now I know I'm fighting for the people as well. It's bigger than me. You know, in training camp and in life, when times get hard, I've been blessed to be around people. I'm not interested in this fighter, that fighter, the only fighter I'm interested in right now is Ruiz and beating him good so I can get those darts back. I'd fight in Tijuana and Ruiz's uncle could be the referee and I still whoop him. Do you know what I mean? It don't matter to me where it is. We didn't come this far to kind of stop. We didn't come this far to, to fold under pressure. We came this far and I feel like we can definitely go a lot further. Until the day I stop is the day they shouldn't fear me. Yeah. But until then, just know I'm knocking on everyone's door. <laughs>